<coughs> okay, so uh, now if we move on to activity number four of the uh, 2017 past paper. And over here, you're, we are moving on to the web authoring software, web authoring activity, suggested 30 minutes. So over here it says you may use any appropriate software for this activity. Uh, in this video, we will be using Adobe Dreamweaver as the software for this activity, okay? So task WA1, Outgrove Park Ramblers has a website that includes information about the activities of the group. The home page of the website is index.html, okay? So if you are having a physical paper with you, I would highly recommend you highlight this point. That is that the home page of the website when clicked should go to index.html okay Liani wants to add a section about the walking holiday to the website the web pages in the new section will be saved as schedule wildlife and landmark okay the three new web pages must be based on this design so by now you should have an understanding that you are going to be designing three web pages with the following names and all three web pages will be following this layout okay you can see that this layout has been given and the content that has to be put inside this layout has also been mentioned and also the house style that you should be following has also been given to you okay Further, it says use the logo and other suitable images, uh, other suitable images from the images folder. Okay, so in your data files, you will be having the logo. If you go into the images folder, you have the logo with you, and then you have another, uh, you have other images as well. So you will have to select the most suitable image depending on which web, web page you are designing. Okay. So also it goes on to say text for the web pages is stored in Pembroke. So if you check out, do you have a file called Pembroke? Yes, I do have a file called Pembroke. And when I open it, uh, yes, all the content that I need. So for schedule, the following content has been given. For wildlife, the following content has been given. For landmark, the following content has been given. Okay, so create a web page using the layout shown in the design. Create a web page about the schedule for the holiday and save your web page as schedule. So we'll be starting off with the schedule web page then. So we'll be using Dreamweaver. I'll come over here and type Dreamweaver. Open up Dreamweaver. So until Dreamweaver loads, let me quickly explain how our layout is going to be. You can see we can create our layout in the form of a table. So that way it will be very much more easier and it will be more organized as well. So if you go to create this in the form of a table, you can consider this area okay, from here to here. You can consider it as one column. This can be another column, second column, and this can be the third column. Okay, So you have one first column second column and your third column and in terms of rows this can be one row second row and this can be the third row okay let me show you how it's done so i'll come to dreamweaver and i'll say i want a new html document and i'm going to stick in the design view itself it's very much more easy and straightforward doing it in the design view so i'm going to come to insert and i'm going to come to table and i'm going to say i want a table with three rows and three columns okay also guys very important is keeping the table with at 100 percent not pixels at percent so no matter which screen the table is viewed on it will fit the entire screen okay whether it is a smartphone screen or a tablet screen or a desktop screen no matter which screen you you view the table on since it's with is 100 percent it will always fit the entire screen okay and i also do not want borders for my table i don't want those borders visible so i'm making the border thickness at zero okay so when you click ok you can see some borders which are dotted lines but do not worry these dotted lines will not be visible in your website okay once you open it with google chrome these dotted lines will not be visible okay so getting started off let's first get the logo so you can see first row first column logo is supposed to come so i'll go into my folder and over here I have the logo I'm just gonna go control C and I'm gonna come over here and control V and I'm gonna say okay and uh, over here for alternate text I'm gonna say logo okay so in case so let's make it all in in simples logo okay so in case the logo does not load at least the text will be visible so the viewer will know what this image is all about and then uh, I have to also make this image smaller Okay, so I'm going to come from the corners and, uh, oh, I forgot, I'm supposed to hold the shift key. Okay, so that uh, it'll, uh, what do you call it, will become smaller proportionally. So here we go. Okay, so I made it, by holding the shift key and making it smaller, I made it proportionally small. And now let me adjust this column. 
okay there you go we can make it some more smaller okay and then uh, next what do we need to put we need to put outgrowth park ramblers is the main heading it's supposed to be appearing in the second column and third column of the first row okay so second column third column you can see have been merged into one so I'll do the same thing over here you can see this is my second column and this is my third column okay so I'm gonna select both of them there you go right click table and I'm going to say merge cells okay so those two have got merged and over here you can also see it has to be center aligned so I'm going to do the same thing over here right click para this align center and I'm going to type out grove park ram yes. okay and this is the main heading so select this right click paragraph format heading number one okay this is the main heading uh, next moving on uh, we need to put the page title in the second row second column and third column have become one you can see this is the first column the second column and third column have become one and the page title is supposed to be there so let me do that this is the second row second column and this is the third column select both of them right click table merge cells so now you can see this has become one and I'm supposed to put the title over here so since I'm right now working on the schedule page the title is going to remain as schedule so it has to be center aligned align center and I'm going to type over here schedule and this is obviously the subheading so select right click paragraph format heading number two and uh, moving on uh, over here we have links to home page and pages in this section okay so this is basically the uh, first column of the second row and third row can you see this is the first column of the second row and the third row that have been merged together so I'll do the same thing over here you can see first column of the second and third row right click table merge cells okay so over here I'm supposed to be putting the link to the home page and other pages so let me first put home page home page then the other pages that we have are schedule and then we will be having wildlife wildlife and then we'll be having landmarks okay so these are basically the four different pages that will be available on my uh, activity okay so uh, yeah that's also done and then I'm supposed to create the hyperlinks for them so let me show you how basically what happens is when I click on home page it should go to index.html as it was mentioned in the question so how do I do it I just select the home page text and at the bottom can you see link over here I'm gonna click and type index.html okay this is where it's supposed to go and I press enter now when it comes to schedule even though I'm already on the schedule web page when I click on schedule it should again it should it should just basically come back again to this web page now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to click on make link okay and I'm telling my computer when the word schedule is clicked it should basically go into my folder which is on my desktop on site 2017 June and over here there is going to be a file called schedule.html okay so I'm telling my computer come to the 2017 folder and access the schedule.html folder now I haven't created the file yet but before I create the file I'm creating the hyperlink so once I save the schedule file it will automatically get connected to the hyperlink okay I hope you understand that part I haven't created the schedule file yet before I create it I'm putting a link no harm in doing that okay no harm at all because once I save the schedule file it will automatically get connected to this link okay as long as your schedule file is saved inside this folder okay because the link is also uh, directed to this folder now and I'm gonna click on OK OK so the same thing with wildlife also I'm gonna select this text and I'm gonna say make it a link and I'm gonna say when it is clicked come to the 2017 folder and go into wildlife.html okay say OK and the same for landmarks as well <coughs> when it is clicked come to the 2017 folder and go to landmarks.html okay there you go okay so these three pages I haven't saved them yet but before saving I have already created links for them okay no harm at all and then over here you can see this is the second column of the third row and this is the third column of the third row okay 
so what do we have to put we have to put the text content of the page over here okay let's adjust this it's too small let's bring it halfway okay there you go so the text content is supposed to come here this is a schedule page so this is the content let me simply copy it control C and uh, come over here control V there you go and I'm also supposed to put an image okay question paper says to put an image as well so uh, when I look over here the best image that I can find is I think the group image so I'll just copy this control C come to my and say control V uh, before I paste it uh, if you just look over here can you see this has been center aligned so let me just do that as well right click uh, align center and let me paste the image say okay and I'll just say it's a group okay also this text also I'm going to center align it okay align center okay so basically we have got the layout done I'm just gonna do one small modification you see these are like kind of sub sub headings isn't it so to make it stand out uh, after each day I'm gonna keep a small space just to make it look better make it look more fit for purpose okay it's not mentioned but better you do it on your own okay just to make things look a little more organized and uh, okay and also each day you can select right click come to style okay style and say make it bold okay we can you can just come and do it from here if you like as well just click come to the bottom bold bold okay there you go okay so it looks a little better now I think okay it's not compulsory it's just something I did to make my web page look more fit for purpose uh, also do not forget the house style where it says the background color should be pale green and the text color should be dark green so if you want to make the entire web page if you want to adjust the background color of the entire web page you can simply come to modify page properties okay so here you have the text color and the background color so starting off with text color they told us the text color should be dark green so text color should be dark green something like this and the background color should be pale green pale green if i'm not mistaken something like this maybe apply okay okay so that's done as well so once everything seems to be have be okay just do a quick check yes everything seems to be in place save your web page as schedule so you can come over here you can click on save make sure you save it in your fold correct folder okay wherever you have kept it 2017 june and save it as schedule okay not necessary for you to put a dot html because dreamweaver will put it for you okay and you just click on save okay now if you move on to the next question it tells us create a web page about the wildlife that may be seen in Pembrokeshire. save the web page as wildlife okay now since the wildlife web page will also be using the same layout it's not necessary for me to start from zero again what i can simply do is i can make a copy of this web page and then just change this to wildlife and change this to the wildlife content and change this to a wildlife life image okay so watch how I do it I just come over here and say save as and I save this as wildlife okay that's it so you see now I have a schedule web page I have a wildlife web page so instead of schedule I simply change this to wild life and also copy the wildlife text which is all the way over here control C come over here Control V and I would prefer to align it to the center also this image delete it and take an image wildlife maybe I'll take this seal copy paste alternate text seal okay there you go so now your wildlife page is also done because the hyperlinks are going to remain the same isn't it so now your wildlife page is also done I'm just gonna click on save and then finally you also have to create a page on landmark but in landmark it says uh, include the image castle that you saved in part a of task ag2 so you remember in task ag2 uh, we did some cropping of an image okay so that image we saved it as castle so now we have to use that image in our landmark web page okay so once again i'm just going to make a copy of this web page save as landmark okay click on save so now you see we have three schedule wildlife and landmark uh, so instead of wildlife i simply change this to landmark 
and instead of this text delete it and put the landmark text over there so we simply do a copy or you can do control C control V okay let's right click over here align center and delete this image and put the image that you created in task AG2 which it was called castle so control C control V and you can just say castle there you go okay so I think everything is done all the content that needs to be put has been put you can simply go on to file and click on save okay so all three files have been created okay so up to here we have done make sure that your web pages are fit for purpose you're getting five marks for this so make sure you know your web pages look properly they are fitting the entire screen the hyperlinks are working okay just go through that if you want you can either come and open it with your web browser and check it you can just come and open it up here and uh, you can check is it working or not so for example let's go to home page yes it's going to index.html it's working let's check schedule yes it's going to the schedule web page let's go to wildlife yes it's working landmarks oh something went wrong with landmarks let's check what's wrong with landmarks uh, it's going to landmarks.html uh, how did I save my file I said my file as landmark okay so there's a small spelling mistake uh, let me quickly close this and change the name to landmarks okay then it will work let me come and rename this you can press f2 if you like change this to landmarks okay so now i think it should work let's check and see if it works yes landmarks is now working okay so uh i hope just go through your website make sure it's all fine in our next video we'll be uh continuing from this part okay this remaining part we'll be doing in our next video. So uh, see you in the next video.